At least 30 HP or something like that. Now it does 90. Yeah. It's a huge nerf to bottle. Bottom lane again. LSA will connect yet again. Arrow will pop though onto PPD. And this looks to be in all likelihood first blood going away of Mama's boys. As Phoenix get the hell out of there, but the last right click of Arteezy will get the kill. So it'll be a trade. A one for one. Very good for Mama's boys. Yeah, he, he actually bolted on Weeha, and because of that, they saw the Observer Ward there. It's a really good place for knobs. And Saksa takes an LSA. Weeha wants some more. He's going Ooh. really deep. Pops the wand How's to survive. Miss? Combo will connect. And PPD dies yet again as Health Salve is used onto Weeha. Fear's oh, gonna cancel that with the right click and open yeah, right wounds. Click. He gets tossed back to the <laughs> tier Radiant's 1 mid. Tower is under attack. And Weeha's just gonna TP out. Wow, it's very cheeky play. In one place is gonna guarantee you a kill. And he's probably done it due to being against a clockwork. If he doesn't have slow clockwork, can easily run him down. But with the high levels of the frost arrows, you can actually... Oh, Weeha! Oh my goodness! Great toss into a doom, which we forgot to even mention. Has been jungling this entire time. And yeah, he's a little bit more useful than a life suit. PPD is going to connect on the LSA, but the Avalanche will connect as well. In turn, the PPD will die. Yapsor, in the meantime, this could be great levels for Fear and Farm as well, as he's surrounded by three members of EG, so it's a two for one at the oh, end. Oh, cool build. He actually wasn't making a blood, he was making Tranquil Boots, because Tranquil Boots are in more than 75 attack speed. It's a ridiculous build. Oh, so wow. It's 100% on that. time, actually. Very good. Hookshot, bottom lane, Phoenix. Does not have Icarus die. That's going to be an easy kill once the hook. Shabzi, forced out yet again. Okay, so speaking of nerfs, do you think... Oh, here comes the blink. Oh, he misses. Oh. RTZ is going to dodge the avalanche. He's going to do some right clicks to Weeha, but here comes Universe, and Weeha is in a ton of trouble. Moonlight Shadow, in all likelihood, it will be too late. Hookshot ensures the kill for EG. Really? And it's kind of funny. On paper, if you look at EG's lineup, you don't really think, hey, we can push towers. But with that life steal, they can do anything. Weeha, in the meantime, taking the first damage from the Zeus, gets the toss on the universe, but the hook shot will be there. And Weeha down again. Not what you want to see from a Tiny. In fact, we've seen Tiny all three games now that I think about it today. Yeah. So yeah. now he's just casting his ultimate whenever it's off cooldown. LOL. 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 Universe has hook shot available with the newly purchased blade mail. Could initiate if he wants to. Pycat. Definitely scout it out. Oh, they're going to find him. Yapsor with the Doom available. He's going to get cogged in. Arrow will completely miss. Can he even get Doom off with the battery assault? Not, don't think it's going to matter. Weeha's there with the burst damage, and LSA will connect on Yapsor into Laguna Bay, but the mech just in time keeps him alive, and PPD on the run. Here comes the Phoenix into the Supernova. Right clicks from Pycat will suffice in the kill. That is two Ooh, there. The arrow. arrow will hit the backside of Sumail. Weeha, definitely enough damage to go around. That is three huge kills for Mama's boys. Yeah, the, man, that, that arrow was beautiful. It, the first two kills were great, but the... So, it'll be tough for EG. He also has the Cloak Aura, a little bit of an interesting choice, because it only gives him 5% magic resistance, but... He's, he's gonna block the hookshot, Yapsor. Don't think he can get Doom off, so in oh, fact he's gonna die before he casting it. Phoenix extremely low, does not have Supernova, remember he just used it. And this Roshan might go the way of EG in fact. Yeah, I can like, destroy to the right click of Arteezy. Weeha in the meantime does take out the Zeus. So on the run, but Arteezy again, the right clicks will do way too much damage. Arrow, not gonna be able to connect this time. Roshan very low, about 10% HP left on him. This is and so Arteezy scary. with the Swarm, that, I think they can get this. We'll see though, Pycat, did he buy back? Oh, they killed right, here. Pycat bought back. We have another buyback on Marana. Laguna it's Blade so onto Pycat. This could be a dieback with the Blade Mail and a Battery Assault. There's enough to take him out. Weeha gets the big toss. Weaver takes the Aegis. And EG gets the kill on Roshan as well. That is huge for them. As Weeha gets off an Avalanche on Arteezy. Arteezy shikuchiing away. Better be careful, man. He's going for it. He's going deep. He's going to get tossed. And he's going to die with the Aegis. Kind of a waste, but Universe gets doomed. Of course, Doom back into the fray. What an that's arrow. gonna be a kill on Universe. Arteezy, was he arrowed? Indeed he was. They're gonna get some right clicks off. And the oh avalanche toss my combination. Gosh. My god, Mama's boy somehow salvaged this. That was an intense fight, man. So close, but EG Universe misses the hook shot and I think Phoenix will be able to get out as a result. Doxa hits another arrow this time on Fear. Not gonna be able to find a kill. Take us. Another ultimate from Sumail, just scouting things out. Oh, Moonlight go. Shadow. Doxa. Trying to position his way out of the jungle, my goodness. As here comes Weeha, Fear pops the rage. He's so in trouble. Weeha has four staff, he wants to go for an Avatoss combination, Dyer's tosses back to the teammates. And with the Infernal yeah, Blade, oh! Universe! Is. Using his body for the betterment of his team as Fear jumps in. And will live. 
Great heads up play there. QPD silenced up fear. Pops out. We'll run back to base. What a scary fight for them. They might grab Weehaw though. They're right clicking a bit. Uh, no Bolt is hitting. Yeah, Bolt does not connect. Arteezy arrowed up again. These arrows have been on freaking point this game. My yeah. god. It's been so good. They've been fighting in very good places for arrows. This could be the fake hey, patch noise. You, you, know, you, you, you should be able me. to. You can maim through BKB, so it should be the same for Well, that, I thought that was changed, but I could be horribly wrong as usual. So, arrow, arrow will connect on to male. Ancient. Granite Dragon, Godforsaken. What? Phoenix gets silent? No, he pops the ult. It's going to get taken out really easily, though. And that is a dead Phoenix right at the start of this fight. PBS. And the Ancient Dragon still doing work with that Radiance. In the meantime, it is a one for one. PPD gets blown up thanks to the burst damage of Tiny. And RTZ and company are forced back. And where's that dragon? Oh, he's still there. He's, he's pretty healthy. He's good to go. Oh, here we have more initiation. Weeha tossing Sumail. Right clicks his face down to the ground. Universe in the meantime gets the nice force tap cogs, and that'll be the death of Weeha. Two for two. Yapsor attempting to run away. Or TP, I should say. Oh, no. Blocking Universe, though. My goodness. Yeah, that, that was pathing error right there. He tried to right click closer to him, but he needed to click behind where Fear was. That would have been within battery cell range. You can also maybe blame Fear a little bit for that. But um, I, I think if Universe was. Had Cancelled over and over and over. Super annoying to play against Zeus. Radiance Universe did use his ulti, by the way, so they might try to fight here. They're going in. Yeah, they're going to jump in. We have a toss. Phoenix has the egg available. Moonlight and Shadow's going to be popped. There's the Doom on top of Sumail. No ult 3, although it's on cooldown anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Universe and Sumail help take out the egg again. Very close to popping, though. Yapster in the meantime, they have vision. He pops his mech. Guess who's still in the freaking dragon burning away at Doom? That's right, it is Fear and that black dragon. And down goes the Doom. That's a two for one. PPD makes it an even trade. Two for two. Pika attempting to TP out, but the right clicks are going to be way too much. Oh, wow. He actually gets out. Oh, literally one HP? Okay. That was, I think that's really me smart of Fear to jump out there, but they just didn't quite have enough damage. Fear's damage is actually quite good now with the Radiance, though. So. Oh, Soxa. Oh, it's a dead man. Yeah, got a little bit unlucky. Could have gone to the pit itself, but... The BKB on Arteezy was great, though. Guaranteed the Phoenix kill if the... Soul Booster, I assumed it was going to be Octarine, because, yeah, you're right, the Bloodstone's yeah, a little bit late. That early. You can't build that early? No, Octarine first isn't very good, I don't think. PPD, Avatost, and a couple more right clicks will be enough to get him. Down he goes to the grave. Oh, he has the Aether Lens. Do you still consider that first item, then? Can we still call him Grandfather Mario? Is that... Still acceptable. It's the oh. remodel, not Pycat. Yeah, you're gonna die unless there's a four staff in sight. Oh, wait, wait. How did he? How did Universe pop out of his dogs? Oh, he got gusted. Okay. He I don't know if he can TP super enough, survivable anyway. now, for sure. Yeah. Yep. So lower armor massively too. And we didn't really mention this, but the fact that oh, Arteezy is gonna initiate on the Yapsor. Pycat is here though, and nothing will come of this. Lincoln's obviously it's pretty standard on Weavers in general, but against Doom now that he doesn't have a second spell to actually get rid of it, it's pretty huge. Arteezy can pop BKB. Pycat's getting initiated by Universe. Cogs are gonna push him out of the way. They wanna find Arteezy still BKB pop. That 10 seconds lasts forever. Pycat pops his own. Will it be enough? Gets a nice gust off. Does not have a TP and all likelihood will die. To right clicks of Arteezy. Down he goes. As here comes Weeha, pops the BKB of his own, blows up PPD, absolutely no problem. Time lapse used by Arteezy, gonna get a little bit extra HP. Yapster in the meantime, looking for the Doom, but thinks better of it, because he's gonna die regardless. Yeah, Weeha. Yeah, we'll see. Away. They really need Ags on, on Universe. He's only like 400 away, so that'll be... But there is Weaver, so that's like an innate counter, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's, it's really not that amazing of a Phoenix game to be... He made a big difference, so that girl's hit. Oh, they're going is for it. He's getting blown oh, up. Aegis is popped. Weeha force staffed out. Fear in That's no man's egg. land with that beautiful radiance of his. Oh, no. Again, easy kill on the egg. A little if closer that, than in the past, but. If that hmm. wasn't a Weaver they had that. That would have yeah. been a great egg otherwise. Structures are fortified. And now Weaver up and running again, of course, with that Desto, so minus seven armor to the tower. And they get that one down pretty low, so that's two tier three towers at half HP. Yapsor really wants to get a Doom. We haven't seen the greatest of Dooms this game. Arteezy's going in really deep, pops the BKB, looking for Pycat. Easiest kill of his life. Meantime, Weeha initiates in. Sumail is the Doom target. Looks like they're going to trade lives. One for one, Weeha attempting to do more, but he's a 1v3. Make it 1v4. Four steps nicely across the cliff. 
He's pretty quick. Has the blink dagger up and a TP available. Oh my oh. god, he's gonna be scouted out the last second with the swarm and down he goes to the infest bomb. Fear. Last second burst oh, damage man. is more than enough. Oh. That's slightly unlucky, slight bad planning on Weeha there. He, he threw Shadows are just in time. They don't have any vision as of yet. Now a sentry is placed. They're gonna find Yapsor. Hookshot. Yes. Nope. But here comes Weeha yet again. Universe is a target of choice. He will drop right off the bat. BKB pop for Weeha. Supernova, will this one finally go off? Arteezy just going to BKB attempt to go for it. It's going to be close. Oh, no! Well. Finally gets it off. That's the first of the game, but Arteezy just time lapses it out. PPD with the Laguna Blade takes out Marana, and Doom goes down, and this is not looking good for M for Mama's boys. As they're just dropping like flies. Phoenix is next on the list. High Cat as well. A couple more right clicks will suffice. Doom had to buy back, but what use is he without his ultimate? And finally, a double kill comes to mail. His ultimate is used for offensive for the first time this game. And this looks to be Rex. Yeah, that, that fight looked really dangerous there. Um, Sealer probably should have popped out of the infested the egg. The, he kept hitting it with the neutral, but actually does nothing to the egg. Doesn't affect it in any way. So if he would have popped out earlier, they would have killed the egg. The fight would have been easier. Arteezy getting silenced up. He doesn't but, care, man. I mean, His HP is so high now. Yeah. Now the centaur creep is coming to me. <laughs> so Even the centaur creep is scary. 38 minutes in the game because of the radiance. Hookshot will miss. Universe has the Aghanim Scepter though, so he's not too worried about that. And this is going to be two racks in all likelihood. And that's a pretty big advantage for EG. Uh, Mama's boys have pretty good laning stage, but this is basically the life stealer show all game. And they made PBD really weak, but... That's what happens if you're playing Alina versus the Tiny. Yeah, Weeha coming with another nice combo. Veil of Discord is used. Image. And Weeha almost dies just to the couple Dying right clicks. Ball. Universe misses another hookshot. Very uncharacteristic yeah. from him. Weeha lives with about 100 HP, but again, this is going to be Mega Creeps going the way of EG. Air will not connect and bye bye Creeps. Dying bye bye Mama Boys in ball. game number one. So EG will take Mega this creeps. unless they throw horribly, <laughs> but I highly doubt it's going to be the case. And GG is called. It's just not a one. good game. For, for a draw ranger, that was basically yeah. it. The time, like we all played amazing. I think he carried them pretty heavily this game, but and I think Bottom played really well also. But maybe we didn't see enough dooms in the early game. They just didn't have very good gank heroes. Really, it was basically the only ganks they had was like tiny, right? And they can maybe doom somebody in team fight. Just EG could do whatever they want. They pushed all the lanes constantly due to the black dragon, and that created a lot of. Uh,